Hi, this is another express recipe that I'm doing. This is a really quick lemon loaf. It is so, so simple, and it's great for people who don't normally bake as well. So I'm just going to talk you through it really quickly. I have the zest here of two lemons, preferably unwaxed. These are actually quite large lemons, but if you don't want it quite as lemony, just use one lemon. Then we're going to start with the creaming. 225 grams of caster sugar, 225 grams of softened margarine. You can kind of use margarine out the fridge, but you might as well let it soften. If you've got an electric hand mixer, you can do it that way. But I'm just going to put this on for the tablet attachment. Okay, next we're going to add two of our four eggs. These are free range medium. And we're also going to add half of our flour. This is um, premium pre-sifted flour, so I'm not going to re-sift it. I also have a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder in there and a pinch of salt. So just add half and then switch it on. And the other two free range eggs. the rest of the flour. Just mix it for 20-30 seconds. Don't forget to scrape it down. Right, the last ingredient is 80 ml of milk. You can use regular milk, almond milk, 1%, anything you like. Okay, that's the cake batter done. Okay, so this is my loaf tin. It's an 8cm by 20cm loaf tin. You can just use a £2 tin, because that's what this is. This is a £2 tin. And we're just going to line it. This is a um, baking paper, so it's non-stick and grease proof. If you've just used grease proof, then make sure that you butter it. This has been in the oven for about 45 minutes with 10 minutes extra heat turned off just with the door closed just so it could finish off. I've taken this out, it's still hot and we're just going to poke it with a skewer. If you don't have a skewer you can just use a cocktail stick or a fork. Now in here I have the juice from one and a half large lemons. I've taken the pips out and I have put 50 grams of caster sugar in. You could use granulated sugar if you want a slightly crunchier topping, or you could use icing sugar if you want a smoother topping. And all you do is pour it over. It's important to do this while it's still in the tin. You get a much, much better taste if you do that because it doesn't run everywhere. It just stays in there and absorbs. Now you've got your sugar, just make sure that you drizzle that all over. Okay, so basically leave this to rest in the tin for at least an hour. This is the kind of cake that gets better with age, so actually you can make this today and eat this tomorrow, it will be brilliant. So this cake generally, if it's wrapped and it's kept out of the fridge, will last for around about three or four days. Um, personally, I never keep this kind of cake in the fridge because keeping it in the fridge ages it. However, if you do keep it in the fridge, you can only expect it to last about two days or so.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been a nice express recipe for you and it should have been quite easy. Thanks.